Welcome to the Geek Heart Games Podcast, episode 12. I am your host, Cody Tietrich, and I am alongside my friend, Sam Sufak. Hello. How's it going, Sam? Pretty good. How are you? I've been better. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, as I mentioned last week, I have a procedure coming up, so when we're recording this, it's still before. Um, and I've been ordered to not take any pain medication. Oh. And good Lord. Does that suck that... to not be able to do anything? How long have you not been able to take your meds for? Two weeks. And I guess because they Whoa, want you to like... seriously? I was thinking like yeah, a couple of days. Flush it out the system and yeah, it's not fun. Oh shit, I'm sorry, um, Cody. That's horrible. And plus like your parents have had you working so hard cleaning house this weekend. That's horrible. Yeah, because, you know, college graduation or high school graduation is coming up for my sister and it's very important, so grandma's coming to visit so uh, the house has to look real nice for her so that's why we're recording early because my grandma will be here <laughs> i don't know I, th I thought we could have grandma a guest oh, on the podcast but cody poo-pooed that oh, idea we could have. oh dude <laughs> she's actually a um, fun fact she taught me how to play this card game called hand and foot have you ever heard of it i've heard of it i don't think i've played it kick-ass game okay i love hand and foot like it's too much detail to go into right now because this will be an entire like subsection of the podcast we have to discuss about this so maybe eventually when sam and i meet up we could play hand and foot and then she could tell you about how we played hand and foot all right we're gonna have to make a new but... geek heart cards uh section for the discord so we can talk about card games Ooh. have you okay side tangent this podcast is getting off to a great start it's great. um there are multiple games where I'm like, man, if someone just capitalized and made a game around this, mm -hmm. they'd make millions. Making like, a game about I, a game, you're saying? Like, if someone made a game where it's just different escape room scenarios, but it's all online, and then you get, you can like get a group of people together, like group, or, like we get our Discord folks together, and we go play this escape room game. It'd be so fun because we're like solving stuff together and like we're all like freaking out about cool stuff like but no one like really has an escape room game going on well except for the whole zero escape series and like zero time dilemma that i told you about granted it's but not a like multiplayer a, like a but it's an escape room I mean, it's like, exactly an escape room so and then like why is there not an online edition of hand and foot pretty popular i feel Somebody what? is gonna be like, bro, I love hand and foot. Cody gets my <laughs> follow on Twitter because he's a hand and foot folk. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, maybe um, maybe we'll go into game developing. You never know. We should. We should. Key I mean, card games productions is gonna yeah. start. Yeah. I mean, another production just shut down, so maybe we shouldn't do that. But uh we'll get to no, that it's later. Fine. It's fine. Um <laughs> So let's get to what we would all want to hear about. Let's talk about some video games. Sam, do you want to go first? Sure. I don't know why I asked because you could have, like, you really could have just told me no there. I'd be like, like, all right, so Halo Reach. Um... <laughs> no, yeah. Um, so I played the game preview for Conan Exiles. I think I said Conan. Very weird. I should just say Conan. Conan? Conan. I don't know. Pretty normal. Is it? I don't know. Regardless. Um, this game just got released in on Game Pass on Xbox. You can play the two hour preview for free. And you know how I like free things. So I was like, hey, oh, yeah. let's do it. Um, so turns out this is a survival game. Cody, do you know how I like survival games? Um, I feel like you don't, so I'm very interested to hear what you have to say next. I don't like survival games, so <laughs> that was fun. Um, but I was like, you know, I'm going to try it. We'll see what this is like. It can be fun. I don't know. Um, so you start off and you get to make your character and they've got some real weird settings here, Cody, which I guess because it's a survival game, it makes sense. But like, you can opt to have partial nudity or no partial nudity. And I'm like, what's this? So hmm. I was like, what's partial That's... nudity? And it, it shows my boobs. So I was like, huh, oh. I don't think I want to do that. 
And I guess when you pick which server you're going to play in, you can pick to be like ones with nudity or not. But I was like, this is this is making me uncomfortable. I don't think so. Yeah, it's um, a little strange. It's a little strange, but I mean, I guess, you know, you're surviving in the woods. You have to make your clothes. You have to do stuff. I mean, I guess I can see where it's coming from. But I also feel like I'm just getting too old for this this kind of stuff. I don't, I'll get more to that later. So um, in addition to making like your physical character, like you have to pick like your race, where you come from, which these are like, I guess, ancient Greek things. I don't know. And then you have to pick your religion. And there are these weird fucking religions, Cody. Um, they're all pretty horrible sounding with like the gods are kind of monsters and they're like usually require uh -huh. sacrifices there's one oh. that's really involved in cannibalism there was one that deals with a lot of orgies and it includes bestiality and i was like what the fuck are these religions and what are they doing in this video game uh, like what? Exile sounds like a very fucking weird game it's weird i was like what is going on here? So I went for the religion that just has like this giant snake monster because it didn't have any like weird stuff. But yeah, that didn't part. Didn't have orgies or bestiality. Why not? Like when I was when I was a young girl, like high school or something, I'd be like, "Ha ha, orgies! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, let's get that one." You know, like when you, you are titillated by fun sexual things. Oh, yes, okay. I don't know, but I'm just like I, I like I'm too old for it now. I'm like I don't think that's super funny um i don't i don't want to play with that part so i oh, don't know sign of the times but um so anyway we got past that um you start out you've been crucified don't know why um but i guess conan comes and cuts you down um and, okay. Yeah, and that's how you start the game. So you have nothing because obviously you've just been crucified. And like the graphics are amazing because you know you've been up here, your hands are nailed to the cross. He pulls you down, he pulls the nails out, and like your hands are just fine. There's no blood, there's no hole. You're a okay. I'm like, yeah, that's weird. I mean, obviously. Video games. What are you gonna do? Um, all right. So I start, and I'm running around. There's like no tutorial, Cody. This is survival. You have to figure it out or you have to die. So you know how I don't like no tutorials. So yeah. I'm going around. I'm trying to figure stuff out. Eventually, I figure out I can start gathering supplies. Um, I see this little like turtle beast creature and I try to beat it up, but I can't beat it up. Oh, so I'm like, well, I guess I need a weapon for that. Um, then I run into some people and I'm like, well, I guess I can punch them. So I start trying to punch these people. I die. Okay. So I respawn, I'm trying some stuff. I eventually figure out, oh, there's like, I could craft some stuff. So then I like find the crafting menu and like see stuff I need to get. So then I'm like gathering some sticks and some rocks so I can make an ax. Then I'm like, okay, I've got a weapon now. So I'm going to go fight these people. So I do. The combat's not super fun with an ax. Um, I guess later you can build better weapons. Um, but I don't know. Um, I ended up, I used my axe to kill some of those animals. The ones I saw were the little babies. Then there's some like big hulking mamas and papas. And they were not too happy about me going after their kids. Also, I stole some of their eggs. Um, so I fought with them a lot, got beat up a lot. The food I was eating wasn't like super um, health fulfilling, but I was like, whatever. Um, so I eventually killed some of the big monsters, and then I got this raw meat. And I was like, oh, can I eat the raw meat? Guess what, Cody? You shouldn't eat the raw meat. It gives you food poisoning, and then you die. Oh, so, oh wow. Jeez. So that happened. Um, and then I was like, well, I don't know how to make a fire, so I need to get rid of this fucking raw meat so I don't keep, like, eating it. But by then it was, like, on my quick access wheel, and I couldn't figure out how to get it off of there. And, like... You open your wheel, and if you point at something and let go, you use that item. So I kept accidentally eating this raw meat and then getting food poisoning and dying. And I was just like, oh my god. And so I eventually uh, used some of my skill points, because my foraging had like upgraded my skills. So I learned how to like make a fire. So I was like, I'm going to make a fire, and I'm going to cook some of this raw meat. It's going to be great. And then I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to cook this meat. 
because it doesn't tell you how. Um, I had to go online and I found you're supposed to put your wood in one slot and then put your meat in the other and then you're supposed to push the play button and let it cook. And so I put my wood and I put my meat and I'm like, how do I get to this play button? Don't laugh about me talking about my meat, okay? <laughs> Your wood and your meat. My, oh, I'm sorry. That's why it's funny. See, I'm too old to even get the joke. Jeez, I feel so bad right now. Okay, time out. Can we... <laughs> you're saying, like, I don't find these things very funny, but, like, you are the queen of that's what she said jokes. But well, thank you. Some meat and wood jokes are a little too far for Sam over here. I just, I don't always get it. Um, You know, I don't know. This game does sound like they like walk into like a classroom of third graders and they're like, hey, what do you guys think is funny? Sex. <laughs> farts. There were no Poisoning. farts. So if there were, I probably really? would have enjoyed no. it more. But, um, but yeah, anyway, I spent fucking forever trying to cook this meat and like I couldn't get to the play button. Like no matter how I tried to get to it, I couldn't get to it. So I finally Googled and it's like, oh, you have to push the left trigger to do the play button. And I'm like... Why won't you just let me go to it? Or at least tell me that's what I have to do. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't tell me. It doesn't tell you like... anything. Um, I eventually Googled also and I figured out how to get stuff out of my quick access wheel. Um, I figured out how to build... I built a little cabin because I was like, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. So I built it and then I was like, I don't... I don't care. I don't... I guess I'm supposed to go explore other things or build bigger houses. But I really don't care. I didn't finish the two hours in my game preview. I was like, no, this is, I, I'm done. I don't care. This is when Sam realized she was still like 20 minutes in. And she was like, mm, nope, not today. <laughs> no, it spent me tw I spent 20 minutes just trying to figure out how to cook the meat. So, um, But yeah, so officially uh, now I can say I don't like survival games. And I probably just shouldn't play anymore. So... Cody, what are you, you've been playing Ark, and you liked that, right? Yeah, um, and there is farts in that game. Oh, so really? I like that. Uh, nice. Yeah, your guy like shits every like ten minutes. Um, <laughs> okay. See, I'd be kind of interested in Coding Exiles because it seems like it's more like mythological. Like, mm -hmm. there's like I saw a video of a guy killing a giant spider. Like, it was, oh, like, you spider love boss. spiders. I love spiders, so like they were killing this fucker, and I was like, "Yeah, I get it." Um, and like, I guess as you progress, certain weapons have different fighting styles. So like, there was a girl who was a tank because she had a shield and a mace, and then this dude had a giant two-handed sword, so he was doing like a cool combo. And then some dude had a trident, and like he was okay. just poking the spider with a trident. And I was like, "This is fucking cool!" Like, there's different fighting styles, so it was interesting. And it, um, the issue is like. Every, so, like, I play Ark with my brother-in-law mm -hmm. and his friends, and yeah. they've already paid $60 for Ark. I don't think they're going to pay $60 for this Code and Exiles game. It's um, only 50 but still, I would not want to pay that. Yeah, okay. yeah so, um, but, uh, yeah, this survival games are not for you, apparently. Mm -hmm. Well, in this one, it does have, like, speaking of mythological stuff... After you get, like, enough materials and knowledge, you can build, um, like, shrines to your god. And I think, like, you can call them down to do things, maybe, sometimes. I don't know. Obviously, I didn't get that far. I, like, in, when you watch the YouTube video, they do the related videos. Apparently, you can summon certain gods and fight them. And that's oh. how you get the best gear in the game. Okay. So, that was kind of cool to hear. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I'll just keep watching YouTube videos. I don't really want to pay fifty dollars and play it. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Well, so last week I mentioned after Sam so rudely told me how much she hated Halo Three, um, just wow. I didn't hate it. I just I mentioned didn't I didn't love it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever. Can't take it back now. Can't take it back. Um. <laughs> so I mentioned I've been playing some Halo Reach, and so I put a good amount of time into it again, and like. I texted my brother, and I was like, I miss the days of playing Halo. I think that I put it in the Discord, like, the first game I had, I got 26 kills. Yeah. Because, like, it's almost like um that saying where it's like, oh, you always remember how to ride a bike. Like, if you mm -hmm. just pick it back up and you just know how to ride. It felt the same way. Like, I just knew what I was doing. Like, I knew how to time my shots with the reticle and, like, 
it was it's just been a lot of fun um i'm a little sad that like certain playlists don't have a lot of people in them and so like i really love it's, it was called mlg um and it's like you had no radar and like there were certain maps built it just for MLG because like this was supposed to be like the top tier. This is where you got your rank in. Okay. And I think I clicked on the playlist and it said like three people were playing and I was like, oh well that's not even enough people to get the game going. <laughs> um I've been just sticking to like regular Slayer because uh every time I try to do the big team battle, it'll load me in, but then I go to a black screen and it won't do anything. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna try it again soon, but the big team battle is like 16 versus 16. Like, that's awesome. So everyone yeah. will try that again. Um, my biggest complaint with Halo Reach back in the day was the DMR. Because we went from having Battle Rifle and Halo 3. I'm about to get the DMR bits. Okay. And so the D- DMR is the designated marksman rifle. Okay. And it's like in Destiny, the scout rifle. So it's a single shot. And, like, you can kind of time it to keep shooting. The big thing with Halo 3 was there was no reticle bloom. So, like, you shot and, like, your reticle did not move. It just stayed in one spot. In Halo Reach, the reticle blooms out to make it more skill-based. Because you have to time your shots. You have to land precision oh. shots more. Um, and I hated that when I was younger. Like, I yeah. was like, fucking hate the Halo Reach. This is the worst. It sounds like something I would um, hate. Yeah, but now... I love it. Like it's, I'm really good at it. Like I was just like, oh, like, um, I got a, a triple kill yesterday because people were like standing in this hallway, and I walked around the corner and like I started shooting them, and they all had assault rifles. But because of the distance I was away from them, my DMR was just a lot better. Yeah. So I was able to kill them because they were all using assault rifles. That was really cool. Uh, going back to a game. Or, fuck, it's been like almost eight years, I want to say. Yeah. And like, I did not, I don't know what I expected, but the, it loads up and the music hits you. I got the goosebumps. I was like, oh God. Cody, you get, you get ghost, goosebumps more than anybody. I know. I know, right? Everything, every time we talk about anything, you're like, and then I got the goosebumps. <laughs> I, I mean, hey, it's true. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I got the goosebumps, and I was like, oh, and I can't wait to hop back into the campaign, because Halo Reach uh, is one of my favorite campaigns, just because, like, it's a tragic story, but okay. still, you're doing so many badass things, and, like, I love it. But is so, this, in, in Halo Reach, are you not playing as Master Chief anymore? No, because this takes place before Master Chief was around. Okay. Um, is this maybe secretly oh, Master Chief's dad? No, I don't think so. They's... But you don't know. Spoilers for a hero <laughs> game. Everybody on Halo Reach dies. <laughs> so I saw Remember Reach because these people gave up their lives so that millions could live. How is that like, Reach? Just... How is the sacrifice Reach? Uh, this, it's, I don't I think the team is called Reach. Oh, okay. Like the team you're in. Okay. Um, And so it's always it's called Remember Reach. Like the tagline is in the Halo universe. Okay, I'm just um, gonna say, but... even if the guy died there, I mean, he could have impregnated Mama Chief uh, previously Mama before Chief. he died. <laughs> so. I like, I like the idea that they're just called Mama and Papa Chief. <laughs> don't I have don't know their names. names. <laughs> Mama and Papa Chief. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like it's. I didn't. Think I would like this. Like yeah. I didn't think I'd be like, oh, backwards compatibility, psh, whatever. That's that's just like a tagline to get more people to buy Xbox 360 games. But here I am buying Xbox 360 games to play them, and yeah. it's a lot of fun. And like, I gotta go like subscribe to the guy who was like, hey, Halo Reach has an active community because like, thank you to that dude for telling me because this yeah. has been a blast to go back to. Yeah. Um. If you want to play Halo Reach, it's only fifteen dollars. Uh, like GameStop, you could probably find it for cheaper on like Amazon. Like I'm sure if I looked on Amazon, it's probably like seven dollars. Um, so if you want to play with me, definitely let me know on Twitter, and we can get together and coordinate a few games. Cause okay, it's I thought you were fun. talking to me. Now I realize you're talking to everybody oh, no, listening. No, I, I thought that was a personal. I know how much okay. you hate 
Halo games, so I don't want to bother you, Sam. My god, I'm super Um, excited for a new Halo game, because I'm sure it's going to look fantastic. So... The new Halo games are terrible. Don't play those. No, I'm saying the new one, like whatever comes next, is going to be fantastic. And that's where I want to. Oh, no, no, it's still going to be terrible. (laughs) Cody, you don't know that. I do. Why? I don't, because the Halo series ended after Bungie stopped making it for me. I don't like the 343 game. It's not good. Um, That's a good point, but did you just see a cat tail? See, I'm doing something different this time. I left the door open. She's been pretty well behaved, so she's coming in and out, I guess. jumps up on the desk and you hear ah that's sam freaking out about her cat jumping up on the desk yes it's happened before um oh i was saying so you don't know like someone can take something and turn it around and it can be fantastic i mean look at god of war i didn't care for those style of games and then they made something great okay is it the same company (laughs) It is, okay. um, but I feel like there's a, I think the God of War games are very good, and they're still very good. They got better but as they went along. But they're very different than what they were. Are I mean, you have to different. say that. So, just, yeah, true. you didn't like the current Halo games, so they could do something that's completely different that you would love. I'm just saying it's possible. You don't know Maybe. that you're going to hate it. I mean, hey, here's the good thing, though, is that with Game Pass, I'm only paying $10 for the next Halo game. Yep. So Exactly. Not deal. And technically, I mean, you're not even paying that. You could be paying $10 for something else and just getting the Halo 1 for free. Depends on how you want to think about it. Sure. Uh, speaking of Game Pass, we both used it to play another game. Sam, I think you should start on this one because I, I don't have a lot of nice things to say about it. <laughs> okay, so there's this game called Laser League, and it's a multiplayer You're looking at a a playing field, I guess, and you've got your characters and you move around and you can activate these lasers that are just kind of like lines that are a colored laser and they move around and you want to make your colored laser hit the enemy player to kill them and you need to avoid the enemy lasers that are trying to hit you. Um, And so they, there'll be like a little white, I guess we could say reticule that will show up and you have to run through that to activate it on your color. Does that not work? I'm trying. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. Um, so you activate your laser. It starts moving. It lasts for a while. It'll eventually go off and then like new spots will open up where you could go turn lasers on. Um, you can also go to the other side of the board. Like you go to the top and you come back out the bottom. So you can go around that way to have more maneuverability. And, um, Basically, that's it. You're just trying to catch the other team out. And um, you also found this out the hard way. Your your player, when you're setting up your match, you can pick what kind of special ability you want your player to have. And in the tutorial, this game had a tutorial, which thank you, um, it shows you having this shock ability. And so once your ability charges, you can go stand next to another enemy and shock them. And they'll kind of be like, ah, shocked. And they'll stand in place for a second and hopefully get hit by your laser. Um, And then also, if when your teammate is hit, you can run over their dead body and revive them. So you can bring them back. Um, it turns out there's a bunch of special abilities that your character can have. The tutorial only talked about that shock ability. So when I went into a live match and an enemy came up and just like smacked me and I died, I was like, what's happening here? That was a surprise. But uh, that's a bil- an ability they've got. You can also like turn invincible briefly so you can like run through enemy lasers without getting hurt. I think there's others. I didn't look at all of them. Um, But you play, like, each round, it's to the best two out of three points, I think. And then the match is two out of three rounds. So, I mean, they're pretty quick. I thought it was was fun. Um, Just, like, I'm not good at it. Um, those special abilities were kind of doing me in a lot. And then I had a ton of problems with lag. Um, which it might have been because I was downloading something else at the same time. Don't know. Um, but I had like real weird stuff like 
there would be points getting scored, but then like the score would not reflect that. Like I swear the enemy scored like two or three times and then like it showed we got a point and I was just like, what's happening? And like I would be standing still for a really long time and not able to move. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's not as fun as like a disc jam, I would say. I feel like they're kind of in the market of being the same type of game, kind of like an action-y sports game where you just kind of hop in, play a few quick matches. Um, but this jam was a lot more fun. Cody? Yeah, I definitely preferred this jam. Um, I did not like this game at all. Uh, <laughs> I did the tutorial, and I was like, okay, this seems pretty basic. Yeah. Um, you're just, you know, running over lasers, and, like, there's different power-ups. Like, there's, like, one where you can swap colors with the mm -hmm. enemy team, so, like, it's kind of useful to pick it up, right, right as you're the enemy is running through um i played two games and both times i got a ai teammate and i played against another real person and an ai teammate and then the ais just did everything um and it was not fun like it was just like okay i'm not really that and like i have a pretty decent sized tv i feel but it's so small that i had to like squint in and then <laughs> there's nine thousand things happening because there's lasers are going everywhere yeah. and you're just like i don't like i was i was like this is just too much like i feel like i'm pretty good at like fast-paced crazy games this was too much for me oh my God. Like, mm -hmm. Do you know what, what my complaint about this game was i felt that it was too slow i felt like if the oh. characters could move a little faster even if the lasers had to move faster as well i thought it would be better but i thought the characters moved a little bit too slow but maybe that was my lag. I, I don't know. Um, again, I'm even lag. It's the AI were just running across the screen full speed, and I was like, "What is happening?" <laughs> like, I I think it's it kind of has like an uh, esporty vibe to it. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like this is going to be a game they kind of try to do that with. Mm -hmm. If so, good for them. Maybe it's a lot more fun to watch when other people are playing. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's. It, I, I didn't have any lag. Um, okay. So I think it controls well. Just, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy it. Like, I was like, okay. Yeah. Like, you were like, oh, hey, you should try it. And I then, told you that before I tried it, just FYI. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I'll agree with our friend Byron, who said it was nutty, but it was a little too nutty at times. <laughs> um, I'm not a big fan of nuts, so. That's true. Oh, fuck that was the, that's what she said opportunity and yeah, i blew it uh, see um, i'm just not on my game tonight yeah i got the title of queen of that's what she said jokes and then i just let that one fly right by fuck i'll try harder next time <laughs> i'm sorry um, but <laughs> oh wait wait I, oh, hold on i was oh, just oh. gonna say real quick uh it's only 14.99 and i think it's on all platforms so it's a pretty cheap little thing and it'd be fun if you were playing with friends like local co-op so that's just something you could try it if you want if you got a game pass you can try it for free so actually it's you get it for free free it's not even a game trial so that's for all free 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 that good free <laughs> the best free <laughs> oh cody cody you're talking to me but i'm not hearing anything so no i'm still not hearing anything when my head is shaking i am not hearing it not at all. Okay. Now I hear it. All right. So let's talk about something that we both enjoyed, I hope, and Destiny 2's expansion. Okay. I'm sorry. You just, mind. you're breaking up just a tiny so, bit. Tiny last bit. Tuesday, Destiny Cody, 2. Stop. I think we thought you were taking a very long time. Stop. <laughs> that, uh, that just, it was just like you kept cutting out and it was just like, da -da -da -da. so I would like for you to start over. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. You paused for a very like it looked like you were drinking that water for a solid five minutes, and I was like, "Sam, you're gonna choke, please." <laughs> no, it's so thirsty. All right, one more time. Okay. You can edit this all out in post. Um, no. I don't edit the videos. I let the videos go, but I edit the audio. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about something that we hopefully both liked, and that is Destiny Two Warmind, the expansion that came out last Tuesday. Um, pretty much. Uh, do we want to do spoilers? I mean, I I think okay. it's, it's an hour yes. and a half. 
bong so like yeah if you haven't played it then pause and go play it if you care about the spoilers it's we're not gonna like spoil the story i won't spoil because i've done a couple of the side quests that do have secret okay exotics because i so haven't we'll done those so yeah so i won't talk about those but we are going to talk about some story stuff so if you do not want to hear that step away now mm -hmm. five four three two one that okay. was a fast countdown so, okay five four three two one okay. so we are on mars anna bray has shown up and is dealing with rasputin and the hive are back on mars the frozen hive they're all frozen -y. frozen let it go okay um <laughs> And we are trying to help Rasputin because apparently he's our friend. Um, so Anna Bray recruits us. She's like, oh, hey, another guardian. Help me out. Uh, we're doing some stuff. Um, we get to fight a, the brother of Crota, the son of Oryx. So that's cool. And then we get to fight a high worm god, all while using some of Rasputin's tech. And it's pretty cool. Thing called a Valkyrie. Wait, wait, wait! Tell Sometimes me. Sometimes I call on. it a javelin. That's what I was gonna say. Is it a javelin or a Valkyrie? Because apparently Destiny okay, can't decide. Thing. All right. One second. Uh, so they refer to this thing as the Valkyrie half the time, and then the other half is referred to as a javelin. <laughs> and I feel like they just couldn't make up their mind, or they made up their minds, and then halfway through, someone was like, "Hey, it's actually called a javelin. We're not gonna go with the Valkyrie name." Oh. Well, we already got the recording of Anna Bray saying Valkyrie 20 fucking times. Let's just continue with her saying Javelin now. Um, Are you, th you think that's what happened, or you think someone just forgot to go back and fix it? I think they recorded some lines, and they told the person recording the lines that it's a Valkyrie, and then halfway through, they're like, that's not the name. It's called a Javelin. And so they did or, they or vice versa, they did the Javelin, and then they were like, hey, it's called a Valkyrie. I think it was Valkyrie, because Valkyrie is the cooler name, so that would have been where they landed, I would think. Yeah, so I think they were like, hey, it's called a Javelin. And the halfway through, they were like, ah, uh, it's the Valkyrie, actually. Yeah. So that gets really annoying, because they just go back and forth way too much. Um, I got confused. As Sam mentioned, it was only it was very short. I think it totaled at five missions, and one of them was a very short mission, so if we even count that, who knows? Um, Can I also just say, what is the freaking deal with these expansions and you always have to go back to the EDZ to do part of the mission. Why? Yeah. You always have to. It's like, like just, oh, that made me mad. I guess, like, to kind of add more time onto the expansion. Because, like, had we not come back to the EDZ, this would have been a lot shorter. Okay, but you'd send me to Nessus or Titan. Let me go someplace else. It's always like I always have to go back yeah. to the EDZ. I don't know why we didn't go back to Titan was the one with the hive already on it. I don't know why we didn't go back to Titan and deal with the hive on there. Like, oh, hey, they're helping summon Zol as well. Let's go to Titan and fuck them up. Like, I don't why know. did we go back to EDZ? Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Um your overall opinion of the campaign did you like the story did you think it was cool just like characters i liked it a lot um i like anna bray a lot i like that we have um a lead for the expansion that's a woman so and she was just fun she was just standing up to zabala she's like i don't care what you think you're you're wrong this is the right way we're gonna do it you know um so i liked that about her i thought she was a lot of fun um i liked the ice hive uh, just because they were kind of different. Also, the stuff with the sunshot now, when you, like, shoot them, you just make them have these big fiery explosions, which was pretty awesome, which I wouldn't have known yeah. that they did that, except for you told me, because, like, I would not have gone back and been playing with my sunshot again. So um, I I liked the worm god. I thought he was pretty cool. Um I love the Valkyrie so much. So the Val the Valkyrie is just this like kind of staff that you get and you can throw it at things or you can do like a, a grand ground pound with it and it's super powerful. So you just like one hit and people are vaporized. Um, so that's really cool. I had a lot of fun with that. The thing about Crota's brother, like I didn't know that, that he was related to them until I read an article about it. 
Like, I don't feel like it does a good job of explaining stuff. Like, I didn't know that Crota was Oryx's son until you made that joke in the that's in our Two Guardians episode. Oh, in the season of Two Guardians. It's like, what? Like, I just, I don't know. I don't follow Destiny lore very well. Um, but I don't really care. I don't feel like I need it. I like shooting things um, with Bungie's guns. It's a lot of fun. So that keeps me happy. So what about you? Um, I liked it for the most part. Um, I enjoyed the characters. I thought Anna Bray was cool. Uh, I have a few issues with Savala. Um, he was a jerk, wasn't he? It made no sense why he was there because in Destiny One, he actually like wanted to find rescue. <laughs> like, oh. there's a strike you do in Destiny One where okay, he's like, "Cody, can you pause to another Cody, Golden Age?" Pause. And it's just like, okay. Oh. You're breaking up again. Okay. Breaking where'd you where'd you lose me at? Um start talking again about Zavala and Destiny One. So in Destiny One you did a strike. Um where he like he's like, Oh, we need to find Rasputin. He's how we get another golden age going. And then this one he's like, Oh no, I don't like St Rasputin's bad news. We can't be doing that. And it's like it would have made sense more sense if you had Lord Saladin there, I feel, because he, because Rasputin technically created Siva, and so Rise of Iron, you saw Siva come back. It just would have made more sense. Or like uh, Ephrodite, I don't remember if you remember her from Destiny One. No. He's the female Iron Lord who survived. Um, it made sense if she was there and being like, "Hey, stop this! These, this thing killed my friends." But instead, it's just Savala being angry. It's just like <laughs> I don't, I don't know why you're here. Yeah. Um, I feel like they have a rhythm where each expansion is going to have a member of the Vanguard and a new character we've never seen. So okay. like we had Ikora and Osiris, and then now we have Zavala and Anna, and next we'll probably get Cade and somebody. Um, I thought everything was cool. Like I thought seeing Nakros was cool. I, I really love the lore of Destiny. Like I read into it a lot. The YouTuber who covers the lore... So when I found that out, that's pretty cool. Um, I wish the Zul fight was a little harder because we are fighting a worm god and like these are big bads. Like this should have been a little bit tougher than Gaul. <laughs> and granted, Gaul was a cakewalk because they constantly gave you a super. And you were talking, and when you said the Valkyrie is like a spear, you know what I realized? It's like a javelin from the fucking Olympics, and that's why they kept calling it a javelin because, like, the javelin is the spear you throw in the Olympics. Yes, and that's what it is. <laughs> um, that's probably why they kept messing up. Uh, um, I liked that Zol was not too hard because I don't like really hard fights. Reasonable. Um, but I think my favorite thing was like it's brought us all back to the game. And that's yeah. why, like, I talked a couple podcasts back where how like i love destiny and i want a reason to come back and this was a reason and i actually feel like i'm gonna stick around till september like i'm gonna play this mm -hmm. game maybe not every day at least every other day like no matter what because like there's stuff to do like i have gone and done some secret quests and then there's apparently other secret quests that are coming and like I'm enjoying doing the raids. I'm enjoying doing the nightfalls. I actually use Bungie's looking for group thing on their website. The raid group going and a nightfall group going. And it was awesome. And then last night, they, uh, oh, it's the other big thing was the escalation protocol was introduced. It's like a horde mode. It's very hard. Um, you, you, once we get our light levels up, Sam, me and you and like one other person, we'll be able to do Escalation Boo. Protocol. Okay, let me tell you what happens in Escalation Protocol, okay? You're walking around Mars, minding your own business. All of a sudden, you're in the middle of Escalation Protocol. Your light is 318. <laughs> Cody and Byron are like, oh, hey, yeah, let's do some Escalation Protocol. This will be great. Everybody's shooting stuff. I'm shooting stuff. I'm like, hey... It says everybody's immune when I'm shooting him. Cody's like, oh, you have to shoot these crystals over here first. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't see the crystals. It's fine. He gets rid of the crystals. I'm like, I'm still shooting them, and it says they're immune. He's like, oh, I guess you're just not high enough light to do any damage yeah. at all. So I'm just like... So I guess it's, <laughs> I guess it's like about um, 30 is too, too low. Um, so yeah. It was rough. Uh, 
um, I was doing escalation protocol and like we were having trouble finishing the first wave. Like we would get close, like we would have like the last the boss down to like just a tiny bit of health, and then they would run out of time. So this dude invited me to a party, and like normally I wouldn't join. Like wait a minute, maybe this is one of those myth- mystical things where I'll have like a good time. So <laughs> I join, and it's like there's six of us in there, and we coordinate and we all join on each other. We have nine people doing this escalation protocol. Because there was three other randoms there. Yeah. And we got to wave four and it was a blast. Like we just started running different strategies to kill bosses. Um a lot of fun. And like they've said like as you get your light up, it'll get better. Cause like wave mm-hmm. four, the enemies were the recommended power is three eighty five. Oh, and like geez. right now I think I'm sitting at like three fifty five. So like I thought the max power was three seventy. That's for the first wave. The last wave is 390. So I guess, like, because it's like 370 and then it progresses to 380, 85 ish, and then the last wave on wave seven would be 390. Because okay. I think the cap is 390. Okay, with, see, like, I thought all... the whole cap the whole cap was 370. So, no, I think that's Man. just to get started. Um, they said, like, as you like, it, it's, it's kind of like a time thing. It's, they don't want you to go through it in the first day Fair unless enough. you're cheesing it, like, kind of like how we were. Um, but even we couldn't, like, some of us were just too low level. Like, we couldn't yeah. do it. Um, so I'm like, it's a lot of fun. Like, there's stuff to do. There's secrets out there. Like, the story on Kotaku, you saw these people put together some numbers and some letters, and they found out there's a cache in, I think it's Sleeping Beauty Mountain in New York. I want to say. All right, start over with this story because the thing is, there's these codes in the game that people found yeah, and they had to the decipher game. them in the game. And it led to a real yeah, location a... outside of the game. Continue. Yes. Uh, and so somebody went up there because like, oh, hey, this message ends in coordinates and it leads to Sleeping Beauty Mountain. Um, so somebody went out there and they found a real life Valkyrie slash Javelin gold coins that had the war mine symbol and then a note from vicarious visions who made this dlc saying like thank you congrats you found it um and so that's all cool everyone's like oh cool we're done with this secret on to the next one right nope there's some letters at the top of the spear and oh. no one can figure out what the letters mean <laughs> and like there's only three of these spears made bungie has one vicarious visions has one and now these people who found the spear has one and the other two, no letters. But this one has letters. It's out there. And it's kind of cool. And like it's like I'm following a Reddit where these people are just every day trying to figure out what they mean. Mm-hmm. Like what do the letters mean? And it's really cool to like kind of sit back and watch this unfold. Like it's just really interesting to see. Um Yeah, and like we have we're doing stuff in the clan, like Byron and I and you did Nightfall, and because Byron and I are both in Geek Hard Guardians, we got the Nightfall in Grom, and that was really cool. Uh, and the Nightfall is really easy. And oh my god, the Nightfall is so easy. I was panicked because we did some heroic strikes, and those were horrible. It yeah, was the taking like, strikes are hard. It takes like three times as long to kill an enemy as like the normal game, just because they're so much harder. And yeah. like I feel like I was dying probably... At least every 30 seconds. I was dying a lot. It was not going well. Um, so I was not looking forward to the nightfall. And then Cody's like, no, it's like a 270 light. And I'm like, well, fuck yeah, let's get in on that. So I had a good time with that one. Um, yeah, the nightfall is, uh, is really easy because they can't, uh, I was explaining this, like they can't mess with the nightfall because it's tied to a trophy test achievement. And they did that when Christopher Cyrus came out and it fucked up everything so now it can't be anything different yeah. than what it is so that's which, cool which is cool with me because i like because destiny is so everyone's always so excited about the raids and like the really hard stuff and i don't like that so i like when they have stuff that's like nice and easy and just kind of casual having a good time um so that's what i enjoy yeah I like i kind of like that like I know I'm not ready to go do the new raid. So mm-hmm. I'm excited to like, I need to get my light level up on my Titan before I even like think about it. And so like in a few weeks I'll have something to do. Cause I'll be like, all right, get on the dust destiny LFG. 
and find me a group doing a new raid because now I'm at 380. That's cool to me. Like, I'm excited for that. Um, and then, like, there's all these, like, like the faction rallies are going to be really important because now we have... They did the exotic rework. When I ever, like, most of the exotics have these masterwork stuff. And a lot of the exotics feel really good. Like, Sunshot and Graviton Lance are amazing. So, like, it's... I know people have issues with Destiny 2. I know it was a step back. And it's like, how did you go from Destiny 1 that was finally at the end feeling complete to now Destiny 2 doesn't feel as complete? Still love Destiny. Like, I may get some hate for that, but I think it's a good game. Well, and I, um, um, I'm i so far outside of the majority because, like, I don't care about the in-game stuff and, like, getting my light level up. I just like to go in and shoot things and have fun. So, like, yeah. Destiny 2 never felt like a disappointment to me. I've always had a good time with it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm having a blast. Let me Let me just go ahead and say something here. I'm having so much fun with Destiny 2 on PlayStation that I decided, hey, oh. Humble Monthly has Destiny 2 for PC for $12 this month. Now, I, you know, I don't like playing games on my PC. I've said that many times. I'm just not into it. But my friend Jessica from Bitch Team Alpha, she only has a PC. And, like, I want to play games with her at some point. And we just haven't been able to find anything we both have. So I was like, hey, do you have any interest in Destiny? And she's like, I don't know about Destiny. Let me look into it. And then she's like, yeah, this seems cool. I'll get it. So I was like, okay, I'll get it too. So, Cody, I got it <clears throat> on my PC. And I was worried that it wouldn't run. So like, I don't know. I don't know how good this laptop can do. Um, and the first intro cinematic did like some really bad skipping, which I think my computer was just still kind of waking up from some stuff. Uh, but once I got into the gameplay, it plays great. Like I don't have any problems with it. That's good. Um, so yeah, so I played a warlock and, you know, it was just going to go through the main uh, intro part to get to where you can party up with people. Um, and then I was like, you know, I'm, I'm having a good time. I think I'm going to make another character, too, because I might as well, right? <laughs> so I made it. And, Cody, I'm going to tell you something. And you're probably going to say, who are you and what have you done with the real Sam? Okay. But on my second character, I was getting it all ready. And, like, when you're making your character, like, I couldn't get the controller to work. Like, you just have to do it on the keyboard and mouse. Um, so I'd made it. And I was like, you know what? What if I just played through with keyboard and mouse? What if I tried it? I know, right? And Whoa. Cody, I had a good time with it. I really What's enjoyed that? it, which is just crazy because I hate keyboard and mouse. Um, but I mean, I've, I've had to play it sometimes for different things just randomly. And so like I've gotten better at it. I wouldn't say that I'm great, but I had a good time like after work today, I came home and I played a little bit more with keyboard and mouse, which it's not so good for me after I've been at work all day because like, oh, my hands. Uh, but like I played it this weekend and it was fine. So I don't know. It's exciting. Like it's a whole new way for me to do things. Oh my God, are you crying? Are you so upset about this? No, just there's so much growth happening and I'm so proud of you. You grow up so fast. I know. It's incredible. Um. I actually heard a lot of good things about Destiny 2 on PC, so yeah. so I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. Yeah, um, yeah. I feel like there's not, there can't be that many buttons you have to really press, so... Um, okay, Cody. So here's the thing. So you've got your ASDW. Those are like your movement buttons, right? And then... I've never heard... I've always heard people refer to it as WASD, and you just said AWSD, and that was so strange to me. You can tell I'm like a pro PC gamer just by the way I talk, <laughs> okay? Um, so they have your super map to F, which is right next to D. Right next to D. You do oh, know how, God, I'm sure you're saying that ideas? all the time. Yes, no, so as... I mean, I did it once. I'm like, this is this is a no-go. So I, I remapped it. Because you can remap anything. So I remapped it to yeah. Y. So it's very far away. So, like, there's no way I'm Smart. accidentally going to hit that. Um, but I still have... I was having trouble, like, I think C was your melee button. And I was having a lot of trouble with that. So I switched it to, like, the mouse roller. If I click that, I can do my melee. Okay. So I'm going to see Smart. how that goes. But, uh... But, you know, I, my movement is not great. I, I was playing, I'm like, this is like, 
like playing Destiny at half speed, it seems like, because I just can't get around so well. But I'm having a good time with it. So, so there's that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Sam abandoned us for the PC Master Race. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I I really love Destiny Warmind. I love Destiny 2 in general. Um, I'm always excited for more. I'm really excited for E3 because when Bungie comes out and they reveal what's next, I'm just like looking forward to it. And I don't know, like a couple weeks ago, I was like, man, I'm just really excited for Anthem because I feel like they're just going to be a lot better at this than Destiny is. And now I'm just like, I'm excited for both because... Yeah another looter shooter in the world would be nice um <laughs> so yeah any final thoughts on war mine sam uh not war mine but i think before i got on tonight i thought i saw a little story that was saying um the update added back uh that like duo pvp because oh, with, yes, with yes. the crimson days they had a a pair which i played it a little bit i felt bad for my partner but you and i should play sometime <laughs> So I was yeah, I was playing with Cody the other night and I had one magnificent moment where I, I was playing as my warlock. Oh no, I wasn't with you, I was just telling you about it. I accidentally backed off a cliff and I was able to like do my warlock jump quick enough to like get back on it before I died and I was like, Oh my god, this is fantastic. I'm I'm so into warlocks now that I've mastered that jump. Hey, there's the cat. Um but uh but yeah, so I was playing with Cody and like I don't know, man. If it was a drinking game, we would have been drunk by how many times I just accidentally backed off of cliffs while we were playing. <laughs> like, I just constantly did it. I asked Cody if playing with me sometimes felt like just playing with an uncoordinated child, and he was very kind, but uh, I, don't I would know. not say that. He did okay. not say that. He I would, would not, not say, say that. that. He's a, he's a very good true. person. But, uh, but yeah, I just... Man, they need to install some guardrails, because I just go clean off. I don't know. It's <laughs> just... So invisible things it constantly happens. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, Destiny Warmind, very good. Yeah, so let's move on to some news. We got a couple news articles today. Um, first up is a very important one there's gonna be a Monster Hunter game on the Nintendo Switch, and it's also gonna be a Monster Hunter movie. Isn't that exciting? But whatever. Um, okay. What do we want to tackle first, okay? The first time Cody told us this about the Monster Hunter coming to Switch, he just said Monster Hunter coming to Switch. We all assumed it was Monster Hunter World, and we're like, wow, that's amazing. It's not Monster Hunter World. Tell us what it is, Cody. Uh, so right now on Nintendo Switch, if you were to go on Amazon and look up Monster Hunter XX or Double Cross in Japan, um, it would come up. You'd be like, oh, hey, here's a Monster Hunter game. So technically monster runner on switch already but it's, it's only in japan like everything is in japanese um so they have ported this over and made it english and so now the america's getting it but they're calling it monster hunter generations ultimate turn generations was uh i think it came out on the wii u yeah okay. uh, so it doesn't have as good as a graphics as monster Hunter world because obviously there's two different engines we're working on here um but there's a lot of stuff in this game. Like there's different fighting styles they introduced in older Monster Hunter games that did not come to Monster Hunter World. There's hundreds of enemies to fight, like tons of monsters. And I'm just really excited to be able to play Monster Hunter while I'm on the toilet doing my business. <laughs> like it's gonna be exciting, you know? That's at least games, twice podcast. we've talked about poop today on the podcast. Man, we're really going for it. Not a Geek Card Games podcast unless we talk about poop. Um, That's the new rule. So alongside this, I feel like pretty much alongside this, they announced the Monster Hunter movie that they are working on. And Mila, I'm going to butcher this last name. Jovovich? Yes. Um, I was saying like, eh, I don't really care because I just don't care about video game movies in general at this point because not usually well made. They're kind of low budget. Okay, and... didn't we just talk about how Tomb Raider was a really good movie? Okay, that's like an exception. Maybe it's a turning Maybe. point, Cody. Maybe Did you ever is. think about that? I don't know, like... And, like, I just don't... I don't know, like... The CGI is going to have to be top-notch. Because some of these monsters look really cool. Yeah. It'd be 
it will be interesting to see what they do. Also, like, like the characters in Monster Hunter are generally predominantly Asian based, so I don't know how I feel about a okay. white woman portraying a, a character because, like, we don't want a Ghost in the Shell redo yeah. where you know one of those things. So I'm interested to see how that goes, um, and I'm just interested to see like who else is in the movie because like all we've got that so far. But uh, Capcom really loves Mila Jovovich because she also did the Resident Evil games. That's also by Capcom. And it's like... Yes. Okay. Well, and her husband is Paul W.S. Anderson, who directed the Resident Evil movies and is also directing this one. So it's pretty much the same oh, okay. thing. It's just Resident Evil except with monsters instead of zombies, I guess. I don't know. I feel like Capcom just really likes these two people. They're they like, probably hey, do. Go, take our money. Did you watch know. the Resident Evil movies? Did I watch the Resident Evil movies? Yeah. I've seen a couple of them. Um, I can't tell you what's happening in that storyline because it's all... It gets kind of crazy after a while. Yeah, like Mila Jovovich is a char- main character for a couple and then there's another girl who's a main character for a couple. No, she's uh, always the main character. There's just another she always girl main character? that's... Is there that's just awesome. another badass female who's yes. also a main yes. character? And when they're badass the together, her? it's fantastic. Yeah, and in the, in the last one, they were badass together. Um, Maybe the last two? I get confused after everything that's happened. My issue with those movies is I feel like the zombies are never like the big threat. It's always like some evil guy. Is that how the Resident Evil games kind of go? Because as I don't play Resident Evil games, I don't. Oh my God, we still have to rectify this situation. Um, but yeah, so Umbrella Corp made the mutant virus that made the zombies, right? And so the people who are in yeah. charge of Umbrella Corp are always like the big bads. Um, okay, so I, I kind of yeah. understood that. Yeah, um, but I feel like the zombies are never the main issue. They're just kind of there. Oh, but there are some like, fucking awesome zombie bosses is. that are really cool. So, like, I play more over Scarecrow Three and all that, so I know Nemesis is a thing. Oh yeah, giant dude. With He's not launcher. my favorite, but that's fine. He's not your favorite. No, his face is weird. Like his mouth is mm. like, it's weird. Okay. Um, Spoiler yeah. alert: He used to be a person. I think he used to be the main character's like boo thing, right? Um. It's it's a weird situation. It's complicated. Okay. It's complicated. Um, I think they kind of like each other, but really they were not together. But it, do they? It, here's the real question: here. Do they have sex when he is nemesis? Not on screen, but I mean, who's to say? Ooh. We should find some fan fiction about that. There's probably some fan fiction. Anyways, back to okay. Monster Hunter on okay. Switch. Okay. Um, Sam, are you going to play this? I already know the answer, but the world. No, won't Cody. God, you like don't Hunter, make me. You Halo, you hate Monster Hunter games. Hey, at least Monster Hunter. War, possibly. What? I I think you're coming for my Gears of War next. I think you're going to be like, I hate Gears of War. This is terrible. Well, I mean, I'd say that you have no basis for that, but I mean, I guess you have some basis because I have have disliked some some things. Um, I have faith. I think you'll like Gears of War 4, but uh, continue. Why are you not playing Monster Hunter? Why would I, Cody? I don't, Touché. Touché. I don't care for that game. I don't care for okay. older versions of that game, I am sure. He's just crying go. again. Oh I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Um, let's just move on to the next thing for me. <laughs> um, no, it's fine. I, I get it. It's not for everybody. Um, I'm just like, man, I don't know. I'm not pick, I'll be honest. I'm not picking it up when it first comes out. I just sunk like 300 hours in the Monster Hunter world. Yeah. I, I need to save myself from the Monster Hunter epidemic like i need to be like hey let's wait till you're like 30 dollars <laughs> um, when is it coming out i don't think did they announce a release date i don't think they don't announced know. a release date yet i think they're oh. just working on it okay um but yeah okay assume like end of the year that seems like kind of a game you can release towards the end of the year nintendo is its own beast like you could release it anytime at this point yeah Hell, we may get a pokemon game and a switch game this year who knows did you say a Pokemon just, game and a I Switch meant, game? <laughs> I meant a Smash game, and okay. I said Switch, and then I was like, that's not what I meant. That's not right. Um, okay. But yeah, so, more Monster Hunter. That's always good. Monster Hunter movie. We will find out. I wonder when that's going to come out. I Probably a couple, two to three years, I would guess. Yeah, probably. Like, I don't think they've started yet. Yeah, if they yet. don't have, like... Yeah. All right. I'll draw our next new story. So... Sad news, Boss Key Productions, the makers of Lawbreakers and Radical Heights, 
is unfortunately closing down. Uh, Cliff Wazinski released a statement saying that tried after the kind of failure of Lawbreakers, like it didn't do very well. Um, they tried to rectify it by releasing Radical Heights and getting some money through that, but he realized it was a little uh, too little, too late. So they had to close down the studio. Um, this really sucks. We never, you never want to see a company go out like. Um, and we, me and Sam, we enjoyed Lawbreakers. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with it. I liked um, it a lot. I think it uh it really sucks when a company closes down um especially if like people paid money for lawbreakers and like they didn't really get everything that that game promised like there was another character to be released yeah that kind of I sucks mean, i mean you got i feel i don't feel as bad about that like i think if people bought the founders pack for radical heights i feel bad for them because they've only had it for like yeah. a month or so they said the servers are going to stay online for a while they gave no like date yeah, i think but uh i don't know i don't know if those people are going to be getting refunds if there's any money to get I refunds would assume or... so. i don't know i just um, that sucks i feel bad for cliff wazinski because like this is a dude who he made a lot of good games. he made the gears of war series like mm -hmm. he worked on a lot of their games and he retired and like he could have lived out in retirement and just been happy, but he was like, you know, I'm going to come back. I want to add my own spin on this. Yeah. And it just didn't work. It sucks for him. I feel bad. Um, I will say, so apparently he just kind of decided this. And like, he, there's, he's obviously like, is the founder, but like, I'm sure he had to go like, talk to other people. Yeah. But like, apparently the lead designer on Radical Heights did not know this. So like, there's a tweet thread where like someone's like, when do we get the female models? And he's like, oh, next update. And then like it was like 30 minutes later, he was like, oh, guess not. Because that's when the clip oh, wow. announced they were closing Boss Key. So that's like, uh, hey, that's... communicate that with people before. That's really horrible. <laughs> Man. Um, so yeah, this really sucks. I, but I, like, I think it's... expected in a way like mm -hmm. we're all we're gonna see certain games fail like battle royale games are the new hot thing mm -hmm. but not everyone is going to take off and so obviously heights had a little bit of interest in the first couple of days but as you could kind of see like by twitch numbers it started going down yeah um I was this really shocked me because like I think they just had a tournament for like twenty five thousand oh, dollars. Wow! Like this past weekend before this happened, so that's pretty crazy. Well, I feel like that game just didn't really have a fair chance because it just didn't have enough time. It was still in early access, which they probably, yeah. I don't. I mean, they must have just been in such dire straits that they had to get it out just to try to do something. But they probably should yeah. not have released it that early. Um. But I mean, I guess they were just out of options at that point, which is really too bad. So, so we definitely uh, we wish everybody at Bosky well. It sucks to see a company go out, and you know those people are going to lose jobs. So hopefully they can get on somewhere else, and we see them making games again. And um, I personally have loved the Gears of War games, so I hope Cliff finds success somewhere else. I hope he maybe signs on with a different company. I I just saw an article, or I guess he did some tweets about he was posting some creatives from just like ideas for games that they've had that, that never went into production and there was some pretty cool looking stuff one of them i think was called dragonflies and it was like you had these big aircraft carriers and then instead of planes you had dragons and you were like going out and fighting and it looked awesome i think actually i think it was like ninjas and samurais were like riding the dragons and doing stuff it sounds fantastic insane so they need to get on that game because that sounds like a winner <laughs> to me so so yeah um we wish everyone at boss key well hopefully yeah they all end on their feet um I'd play lawbreakers again i say yeah because i feel like lawbreaker servers have got to still be on right i mean once they I think when they announced Radical Heights, I went to try to play Lawbreakers, and I sat for like 10 minutes and couldn't get in a game just because nobody was on. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe we won't play Lawbreakers. Yeah. Um, on to the next story. Yeah. All right. Time for Cody's Corner of Rage 2. That's right. <laughs> Rage 2 is coming out. Um, 
Sam and I have no idea what Rage One was about. Uh, but I did some research. Okay. I did some research as well. So let's let's hear what you got. It it was a first person shooter. People were like That's up our alley. saying it was kind of like a Borderlands ripoff. And I watched some gameplay and I was like, yes, this looks very much like Borderlands. That's up our alley. All yeah. Right. Um that was all I have to say about Rage One. <laughs> okay. I also did some research. Yes. I found the same info. So <laughs> Good detective work by us. We're um, so good at this. So apparently there was some, there was a, a main single player story. Um, there was multiplayer where you could fight oh, against yeah. people in like a, I think it was a like a four person fatal four way kind of thing. Um, <laughs> is fatal four way a thing? In wrestling, it is. So <laughs> shout out, Wolf Pack for life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I um, thought maybe that was like a sexual thing that I was just too old to understand. I don't know. You have sex until somebody dies. I don't know. When you get past three, it just goes to an orgy. I don't think they call it a <laughs> fatal four way. Um, also, like if if I if I was going to have sex with more than uh, my current girlfriend, I would never want to like. If she was like rang me up and was like, "Hey, you want to go have a fatal four way with our uh, friends?" I'd be like, "Fuck no! Someone's gonna die, and I'm not into that. Like that's just weird." Um. I do like the idea of just referring oh to my... multiple sex partners as wrestling terms. Like, I'm gonna go triple threat later tonight. Wink, wink. That sounds that sounds a lot better than a fatal four. We're gonna have a, a hell in a cell match later. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. No, I don't know if I'd work. be up for that, that one. Work. Um, man, that'd this, be this for your S and M type stuff. Going off the rails. Okay, okay, bring it back. Um. So I. So. <laughs> There's a single player campaign, there was the multiplayer, and then they did co op missions where you could play with a buddy and mm -hmm. go through. Um, and so the trailer dropped uh, Sunday. Okay, let's, let's back up. Back up. Let's tell the whole story. So, like, maybe a week ago, a few days ago, I don't know how long it was, Walmart Canada um, oh, yes. <laughs> posted these like week. upcoming games. And they were just like these random games that some of them sounded like, oh yeah, that could be coming. And then some were like, what? Is that a thing that's coming? Um, so nobody knew if these were real or if they were fake. But Rage 2 was one that was listed on there. And they were all shown just as like black boxes with plain white text for the name. Um, and so then the Rage, I guess the Rage Twitter account yes. responded and was like, hey, Walmart, here's some notes. And they're like... This is the wrong font. It needs to have this, blah, blah, blah. They were just having fun with it, you know? And so, like, people were like, why are they... Are they ha just having fun? Are they really going to make an announcement here? And then Bethesda tweeted something as well. And they were, I don't know, joking around with it. They tweeted a few pictures. Like, there was a picture of a clock tower that had paint on it. Like, mm -hmm. it's the London clock tower, uh, Big Ben. Mm -hmm. And it had, like, paint going because the paint was from the hands moving. Okay. I think it was last Thursday they tweeted out an image of a guy holding a grenade in his hand and he had rules tattooed on his hand. Okay. And I was like, I posted on Discord, I was like, hey, people who play Bethesda games, what is this? Because I don't know. Byron was like, oh, it's probably for Rage. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then the trailer dropped Sunday. Yeah, well, they had like a teaser trailer and then just today yeah. they had the gameplay trailer. Um, which I think, I just think the whole thing was a lot of fun. Like, the way this happened, it's like, were they planning to announce it before E3? Who knows? But, like, whatever happened, and they just went with it. And it's just cool and exciting, and I love that things like this just happen in the games world. I don't think they were planning, because, like, Bethesda does a conference every year. Um, yeah. And, like, it's kind of like, we don't know, like, because they've said, like, the next Elder Scrolls is a ways off. Mm-hmm. We're probably going to Doom 2, but then I feel like they were planning on announcing Rage 2 as yeah. well. Yeah. But this got leaked, so they were like, hey, like there's no Doom 2 leaking, so let's just announce Rage 2, and then we have Doom 2 as our big like thing. Yeah. That's yeah. my... We need to do like an episode, maybe the week before E3, where we just have crazy predictions. I'm so bad at predictions. I don't even know what to predict. We're doing though. it, Sam. That's my problem. Get better at it. I'm just going to um, steal other people's predictions. I liked the teaser trailer. I thought mm -hmm. I liked the music to it, and I liked the aesthetic. I was like, "This yeah. is pretty kick-ass." Um, gameplay trailer is cool. This is like, the original thing. Like, I walked away from. It, I was like, 
this just looks like another Borderlands. Mm -hmm. I'll probably pick it up when it's on sale because it looks like a good co-op game. Like, it's not something I'm like dying to get my hands on, but it looks like something that could be a lot of fun with friends. It looks really cool. I got It excited does. by it. It looks fun. It looks crazy. Um, on the gameplay trailer, from what I could tell, it looks like there are three factions. And like one is like these crazy punk rock people. One is like soldier, more serious type people. And then the third looks like it's just like Junkrat and Roadhog's buddies. Like that kind of people. So... I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but that is what I saw and what I interpreted it as. Um, yeah, I guess we're we'll at the wait. Um, yeah, I'm sure, like on the Bethesda stage, they'll uh, show a little bit more of it and like talk about it. Um, wonder if Rage is on backwards compatibility. Maybe we could play that. I believe it is. Yeah, maybe we should try that to get a better observation of this game. I mean, I guess it depends on how much it costs, though. Cause, uh... Yeah, I'm not paying more than like $10. All right, we'll look and see if we can get it for $10 and then we'll play it. Um... Oh yeah, so considering... Oh yeah, um, because I was watching it and I'm like, this looks like a lot like Mad Max Fury Road, but also Borderlands. And then, and then I actually, after I watched the first Rage game, uh, play thing that I was looking at I googled I was like just is rage borderlands just to see if it was the same thing because it looked very similar and then like everything that came up about about it was like everybody seems to think that it's very similar um so it's like interesting if borderlands 3 is going to be announced at e3 as well um because they seem yeah. very similar um so I don't know and I've never actually played um, Borderlands. I've played just like a little bit of it. But I, I played Tales from the Borderlands and I loved that. So I would like to play some more Borderlands. I've just um, I actually have a copy of it because Gamer Giving um, gifted it to me one time. So that's exciting. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So that was cool of him. Yeah. So I should play it sometime. Um, yeah, like if. If it comes down to it, I definitely will be picking up Borderlands 3 because I enjoy the other Borderlands games a lot. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot more replayability in Borderlands. Um, I don't know anything about Rage. I don't know if there's replayability there. Uh, don't know anything about the game, so I'm really excited to hear about it. Except it looks the thing, is like, I'm awesome. Just, it looks awesome. I'll admit that. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, we're getting close to E3 and all these exciting games are going to be coming, so I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Sam, is there anything else we want to talk about? I was trying to remember what the document looked like, but then I just remembered that we had accidentally put Cody's Corner of Rage 2 twice because um, we both added it. Again? Should we just do that entire segment over? <laughs> Let's just do that again. Let's just repeat it verbatim. No. All right. Welcome to Cody's Corner of Rage 2. Um, all right. Well, it's a pretty good show. All right, so if you guys would like to contact us, we are contact at geekartgames.com. You can send us emails, let us know how pretty we are. Um, let us know that you saw Aloy running around in the background earlier. We all saw it. You can shout it out. She's a good-looking um, cat. Yeah. Questions for us. If you have some E3 predictions you'd like read out on the show, let us know. We will read them out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I said if you guys enjoy this show, to leave us an iTunes review, Spotify review, Podbean review, all the reviews, five stars, two thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, all that. You we know, like good reviews. reviews. Yeah. But product out there, you know, let us get out to other ears. We appreciate it. So on Twitter and Facebook, we are at Geek Art Games. If you follow our Twitter, you can see that sometimes the Twitter comments on my Twitter about the Huckleberry gun in destiny 2 right now because the huckleberry it's a crazy fantastic gun it's amazing yeah uh, if you'd like to watch our youtube videos where we have a wait, is it no way out or is it a way out it's a way out a not way no way out. out no way out it's a movie um <laughs> we have an a way out series going and we're gonna have some other videos going up pretty soon uh you can find that at geekartgamescom slash youtube if you would like to talk in our discord channel where we just had a very successful community hangout we talked for about an hour about avengers infinity war and we're already playing the next one yeah it's a good time 
Twitch.tv.com slash Discord. Go there. You can also join and we can talk about Destiny, other video games, E3, all that jazz. And then last but not least, we have our personal Twitters. I'm at Comic Book Cody. I was listening last week and I felt like I said it really fast and it sounded like I said Comic Cody and I was like, no, that's not my Twitter. It's Comic Book Cody. Enunciation Sam, is important, so. It is. Sam, what's your Twitter? Mine is S K S U V A K. Thank you. You're so welcome. follow us there to get uh, cool videos of the Huckleberry. Sam likes to tweet about our cat. Um, yeah, yeah, cool stuff. I said last but not least, but there is one more thing we like to do here. Um, we'd like to talk about what we ate today. Um, I had a nice spaghetti for dinner. Oh my god, I had spaghetti for dinner as well. Have meatballs? No, I had some chicken with it. Mine, did, I had. Oh my god, I had chicken as well. But I'm a big fan of meatballs. Um, we're really you, in sync tonight. We're really in sync tonight. Did you have veggies with here with it? Uh, no, I wish. That would have been uh, awesome. Okay. Spaghetti and chicken patties. I had some so veggies. It's fine. Kind of veggies. What we're talking here. So I Out had some. No, I had uh, spinach and mushrooms, and then some uh, cherry tomatoes with it as well yeah you lost me i hate mushrooms and tomatoes um it's real good it's a real good meal this is the first flip off of uh it was a double Gears, flip off i, I think i've done off. it before can we talk okay real fast going back to rage 2 the scene where the girl the punk rock girl holds up the middle fingers but they're two shotgun shells i was like <laughs> that's hilarious. that's hilarious i know um this game looks awesome anyway we were at the outro of the show as you can tell sam take it away do 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 yeah. You didn't even sing the song. That's that's a that's a song. Also, like, why did that sound like the theme from Knight Rider? Um, well, it's supposed to be Barracuda from Heart. Obviously, I need to work on it. I apologize. I'm also probably misremembering the theme of Knight Rider. To be honest with you, but... I don't remember Knight Rider. That was so long ago. I don't even know how you know Knight Rider. You probably weren't even born. You always remember the hall. David Hasselhoff? You, you don't remember? Okay. Well done. All right. Thank you for listening. And goodbye. <laughs> that was an off the rail show. <laughs> it was fun, though. Hmm? And I'm sure you're going to be like, you should have shaved the entire beard off, Cody. I mean, see, the good thing about you using the less good camera is, like, I can't see the full detail of the beard. Like, I feel no, like if I could see it rough. really well, I would be more upset. Like, no, it's just kind of like a blur. It's like, yeah, there's some stuff there. I don't, I don't know. It's fine. It does yeah, seem no, it's, like it's, it's longer than looking. normal. Yeah, I haven't. So I'll, I'll just use... My webcam to my advantage and just talk really low like this. Hey, it's going. <laughs> yeah. Put yeah it over. Fine. It's um, okay. I'll just get a post it note and put it over my screen where your beard is. Oh, okay. I, I appreciate that. <laughs>